Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,237. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1,235 and 1,238, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a simple task here today we need to add with contains criteria or partial text criteria for a number of products. Here's our data set date. There's the boomerang sold and the number. Ah, but we have a category called Bellin, but there's different types of Bellin boomerangs. There's Bellin Dancer, Bellin, Plastic Bellin, a 12-ply Bellin, which is actually made with 12 plies of birch hardwood in 6 millimeters, so it's super strong. And then for Carlota, we have various Carlotas, 12-ply Carlota. Phenola Carlota, that's an amazing, tough, strong, dense, plastic, cloth-like material. So for example, for Bellin, I need to come over here. I need to count Bellin Dancer, Bellin, Plastic Bellin. Notice B-E-L-L-E-N is a number of letters. I need to find it at the beginning. I need to find it alone. I need to find it at the end or anywhere. There could be stuff before and after. This is a relatively simple solution. We're adding with a condition or criteria. So we're going to use the function that Excel has for us, sum ifs. Now, sum ifs allows us to add with one or more condition. We're simply going to add with one condition. The screen tip is polite. It says, hey, sum range, that's the range of values you want to add. Whoops, one too many. Now I need to copy this formula down and keep it locked on C4 to C16. So I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it and put those dollar signs in. Now comma, criteria range 1. Here's the entire range of values I need to look for and find the contains criteria Bellin. I need to lock that also, so I hit the F4 key. Comma. Here's the criteria. Now, I can't just click on Bellin, because then it would find only, I think, one here, and then add and get a two. I need to add a special wild card to my formula. Now, this cell reference is relative, so that's good as we copy down. But before and after the text B-E-L-L-E-N, I need to add a wild card. And the wild card is, and it has to go in double quotes, double quote, Asterisk, double quote. Now, it's that asterisk that will tell the formula find zero or more characters before whatever this E4 is. Now, I need to join this. And you can tell that the formula won't work right now because that cell reference is black. I need to join it. So I use the ampersand Shift 7. So that will find Bellin with anything before it. But I need to do the same thing at the end. So double quote, asterisk, double quote. So now that is our, now whoa, normally when you click on the, the any argument in your screen tip, it highlights everything there. But I don't know why it's not doing it. But that is our contains criteria. It'll find Bellin or anything with stuff before Bellin, after, or both. Now I can simply close parentheses, Control, Enter. Double click and send it down. I go to the last cell and hit F2 to make sure I got all the cell references right. Sure enough, that's working. Now, if I look at Bellin, I can come over here. And it looks like I have two Bellins there, one here, another one. And I'm using the Control key to highlight cells not next to each other. Now I'm going to look down in the status bar. And sure enough, it looks like it is working. All right, so adding with contains criteria. We'll see you next video.